Hey guys, Shine here from Talk Engineers, and today we have a three phase circuit breaker with us of Mola. It's an industrial grade circuit breaker which we scavenged last night from one of our machines as it was causing some signal issues. And we believe that its contacts have been carbonized, so we have taken it out for servicing. So I've thought to make a video for it. So, so if anyone who doesn't know, a circuit breaker is basically a device that is used to use as a safety protective uh, device uh, to save our electronics and other things like motors and other things attached to the machine from over current or short circuiting as if uh, for example our mo if our motor has been is getting a jam or some thing which is causing a great current draw and if there is no circuit breaker so in result our wiring which is not up to the gauge of the current drawing can be uh, melted or and can cause a fire so it it's a very great part of protection in our industrial as as, as well as in our home electric circuits so this is a three phase uh, circuit breaker over here so having three poles and an auxiliary is fitted in on this side which is used as a uh, signal in case of our circuit breaker strip it gives the signal to our plc or other controlling devices and acts as a safety so we can know on, on the hmi that which of the breaker is making trouble so let's open the circuit breaker and it's uh, it's not so difficult to open just we have to slide our uh, screwdrivers on the side hinges and just it will pop off and don't be afraid of breaking something you won't and that's the experience over here and i've given a diagram you can pause and watch it's the diagram of a single phase breaker so in this video i won't open the circuit breaker entirely because it's if we open the circuit breaker entirely it's very difficult to uh, assemble it back together and we don't want that because we want to save this breaker for our future users so we'll open it as much as it's possible so we can clean its contacts we can see its auxiliary and we can see its internal like i believe that we will be able to see its coil and other stuff which is important stuff but we won't be able to see its intricate details inside but it's not that difficult Basically, circuit breaker has two parts. There's a bimetallic strip, which is uh, used as a thermal overload. And as our current increases, the bimetallic strip gets bent and bent. And at uh, one time, it triggers as per our current rating. And there's a side uh, knob also given in which we can uh, set a range of current which we want. For example, if we are seeing that our motor is drawing a little bit more current than usual and it's tripping our breaker continuously so we can increase our range within the safety limit and the other part is short circuit protection so in so short circuit protection we don't go for biometric strip at all because if we go for that it's too late and it can cause uh, explosions with other devices connected to the other end of the circuit breaker in short circuit we protection we use an electromagnet so as there's a short circuit the electromagnet gets energized so quickly that it just trips the circuit breaker instantaneously without causing any damage further so we can see the coil easily and on the top there the biometallic contacts which are used for tripping and now I will trip the breaker easily on the side we can see there's a lever and this lever and the inside mechanism is responsible for tripping and as I'll just I'm giving it the little tap it trips instantaneously now in my hand I have an auxiliary which was attached to it and the auxiliary works in a simple way it's, there's a very simple mechanism involved in it there's a rotating hinge attached to the breaker which attaches to the lever in the auxiliary as the circuit breaker trips the hinge rotates and which rotates the auxiliary and the contacts are made inside it now i will try to show you how the contacts are made and break over here i'm sorry i have to put a finger in the middle because <laughs> without the finger the spring flungs up easily so i don't want that and but we can see it's very easy and here 
here is the culprit of the video this were this with the contacts of the auxiliary were carbonized and on the right you can on the top you can see that the, the we have cleaned it and uh, on the bottom it's carbonized so cleaning it's not so difficult you can use a contact line a rag or an by paper to remove it so guys so guys this was the end of the video and i hope you liked it and uh, uh, furthermore in the coming months i would be sharing these industrial uh, devices with you and i would be opening them and i would try to repair some of them in front of you so you can get an idea how to repair it and then i will talk about troubleshooting and plc's and all other stuff related to industrial automation as i'm in the business for four years and i want to share my knowledge now so if you like the video gives you give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel to watch new videos regarding industrial automation and industrial equipments thank you very much have a nice day take care